Sandra? Uh, yes. Okay, San- Sandra Solomon, who was uh, one of the in- inciting incidences outside the uh, APAC, uh, who, who uh, were involved in w- what became a conflagration. Sandra, what was the provocation that, of the first, the first sign of uh, physical violence? Okay, um, yes, I was uh, standing uh, on the sidewalk, uh, chanting, uh, like everyone was chanting there. I was chanting, Israel will always be. Yeah. And uh, from the river to the sea, Israel will always be. From the river to the sea, Palestine uh, never be, and all that uh, chanting. And then the guy, uh, all of a sudden, the guy, uh, he came very, very close to my face, and he's pointing to his uh, himself, to his face as well, with his finger, and he's saying, uh, this is Palestine. This is Palestine. You know, it, it, looks, it looks like that he was... Um, hitting on me. Okay. So I felt like he's coming closer to me, he's hitting on me, and then all of a sudden, um, uh, all what I uh, uh, see, remember that there's uh, some some guy came and uh, like to, uh, to get him away from me, and uh, the fight started from there, and I took the flag because I was standing on the Palestinian flag, I just took the flag and, and just get out, uh, stay away from the scene because there was many... Many people jump on top of each other, like uh, who's who and who's with with who. I don't know. I didn't, uh, like it was like a lot of guys fighting. Right, right. But did did you push him away? Or did he push push you? He did not push me, but he was getting inciting, like incite to my face. You know what I mean? Like as if he's trying to hit on me. How did the violence begin? Uh, that, that's it. After that, all of a sudden, like uh, someone came and to, to try to get him away from me because he was. He was getting closer and closer. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like as if he wanted to, to, to start something. Yeah. I, like I, I back up a little bit. I my body. Like I back up a little bit. If someone coming closer to you, the first reaction you will back up a little bit. Your body. Uh huh. So get away from him. Did, 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 and then all of a sudden, yes. Yeah. Did one and of the, then that, the fight after that right away. So one of the Jewish defense guys came over to defend you and move him away from you. Yes. Uh huh. And, and then after that. Uh, another guy jumped in, and then another guy jumped in, and then another guy jumped in, and it, it was like a, a jump, like many guys on fighting to each other. Uh huh. Oh, you mean? And uh, then at that moment, when the guy jumped to get him away from me, at that moment, I I just uh, grabbed the flag and whatever, and I walk away. Okay. So at at this point. Yeah, uh, to get myself away from the uh, anyone can hit me. Right, right. Uh, and were they jumping in from from opposite sides, both from the JDL and from the uh, anti-Zionists? From the left and the right. Uh huh. But mainly from the left. The guy, the JDL guy, came from the left side. I okay. And so th- then, th- then they started fighting. Did the police come at that point? Then the yes. Then the police star, uh, Then the police came and start to push everyone away. Everyone was pushed away. It doesn't matter. Uh huh. Do you believe that the police should have been standing uh, in between you to protect you from them? That you wouldn't have needed to have your your colleagues come and save you? Of course. If the police was there closer, because the police was covering their side more than our side. Like the side that we were standing, the police totally like kind of ignore us. But when I was standing at that time, at that moment, there was no police. Uh. Why do you? The police was not there at that side. So you you were outnumbered about uh, thirty to one, forty to one. How come the police were facing you? They weren't facing the crowd to 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 try to uh, uh, keep the crowd controlled. Yeah, the police was mainly uh, you know uh, uh, um, uh, standing uh, behind the, uh, the the other guys. The, the Palestinians and yeah. the other people. Yeah, yeah. So, do you feel that you feel that the police were intentionally not protecting you? Well, that uh, I think so. Like, I don't. I cannot really, uh, you know, assume like at a hundred percent. But what I'm, what I saw at that time, and not just me, all of us, all the GDL team, mm-hmm. we were like kind of lift like this up into the air, like we were not really protected very much. Uh huh. And like, not just me, all of us. Uh huh. And, and uh, was like it? They a- were just yeah, standing, like making sure the line of the police lining up, and and uh, at the door, you know, where the kids or whatever standing and they're chanting, and uh, but us 
because we were left in the middle with no protection. Anyone can come and harm us any any minute. But and then we end up going at the top of the balcony, the other stand of the stairs. There was no police there. David Ben Horan's video shows uh, uh, a, 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 a culprit running upstairs and then then getting caught when he when he ran down. Was that the same incident or a separate incident? No, a separate incident. And also, like we were like we were trying to move from from different spot to spot. Which which one is the safest spot? You know what I mean? Yeah. We were moving. All the GDL team. We stand at the uh, first of all. We stand at the right side of the the center, and then in the middle, and then to the left, and then we went up the stairs. There's no. Uh, there was no like a really protected spot where we can be standing or not moving. And then it's, it's, after, yeah. when the before the BDS came, the yeah. big group. Yeah. Before they they came, then the police start to, you know, uh, making a real serious uh, action toward lining up and and. and and making the way for them to come. And us, we were pushed back, pushed back, as if, you know, we're like, uh, we are the one who's, who's here for trouble. You feel that the police gave you adequate protection, considering the the enmity, the hostility of the crowd against you? No. W uh, was there a second incident? We were, not, we, were, we were not protected very well. We were not protected very well. And the, actually, the, the whole team, the GDL team, we went there, we, we didn't have no attention to fight with nobody. Nobody. We yeah. were like in a peace. We came in a peace to stand to make our point, mm -hmm. to to stand for Israel, to stand for uh, against anti-Semitism. Yeah. And that was the whole point. And live in peace. That was no attention to start. To uh, no, we were not inciting what, any hatred. We at, were not inciting any violence. And was there a second? No. Uh, was there a second incident that uh, that that turned into a fight, or or did the did the uh, arrests come from the first fight? The arrest came uh, like they arrest both sides. Our side and the Palestinian side. Right. Was, was that from the first? They, they, should, they should have not arrested the guy from my team, from our team, because uh, uh, the GDL team, because um, he did not start anything. The Palestinian guy who started it, he was far. That's why he came. He wasn't there. He came after when he saw the guy hitting on me. Uh huh. And so the guy who got beaten up, who they're, they're saying was uh, a, a, a professor, Pakistani professor from. North Carolina, something. Was he part of their regular protest? Is this the guy, the provoca provocateur? Yeah, he came to me like, uh, I don't know which organization he's from. I never saw him before in my life. Uh -huh. He came all of a sudden to me and he's like, this is Palestine. This is Palestine. In a gangy way, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like in a threatening, like in a gang. Like he, he was talking like a, like, like a gangy way, you know what I mean? Like a gang. Like this is Palestine. This yeah. is Palestine. He yeah. keeps repeating. Okay. All right. You have. I you, the guy came to him. You you have Mayor Weinstein with you. You're you're we're speaking to you from Canada, Mayor. Uh, when when the uh, the, the JDL um, left, were, were you dispersed by the police? Did you leave because they forced you to leave? No, not at all. We were there for approximately four hours. Uh huh. Uh, we made our point. We, uh, according to the information we had, the uh, the pro-Islamic uh, contingent of the anti-Israel protests was to arrive at 1 o'clock. They arrived at 2.30. Uh, so we stayed uh, at that point, but it seems that we made our points already. <clears throat> so we're there, like I said, for four hours, and then we uh, called it a day. Okay, so your 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 guys have what, been. Uh, what I want to say something very important. The GDL team are very respectful, honorable men, very respectful, uh, very decent men. We were not. We, we did not win there uh, to incite any hatred or any violence to start any fight at all. That was not our intention. Our intention, period. We are standing for Israel. We're standing against anti anti-Semitism, and that's the whole point. And we will we will keep going, continuing what we're doing. And we're, they are very peaceful men. But what if this is a self defense? If someone hit, hitting on a woman, what they should do, right? Right. You, you had you had, you made a. a this a, is a self defense. The, and the, the message that you were saying th through your phone was that that this is basically uh, uh, not a border dispute. What what what's your point? Uh, my point that the GDL are not radical, mm -hmm. they're not violent, they are peaceful, honorable, respectful men, 
Yes. And uh, I'm honored to be with them, and I'm gonna be always with them. If I see, I'm not a, like I'm against racism. I'm against violence. I'm against the hatred. Uh -huh. I'm against the hatred. You know that's why I went to them because as a Palestinian, I stand against hatred toward the Jews, toward the uh, Israel. We need to stand against any form of hatred. The other part, the other side, was the one who's violent and inciting hatred and calling Israel name and calling the Jewish name and and causing all the problem. And on top of that, when the man hitting on me, like uh, uh, the guy got arrested, this is ridiculous. Uh -huh. And we, we were not protected very well. Yes, okay, the police was there. Yes, okay, the police was trying their best to keep whatever the peace. But guess what? We were only like a few people comparing to the others. We are the one who should have had more, more, more protection, not them. Uh huh. And was the point of your message that this is not and a? We got many women, not yeah. all men. We had like another six women with us. Go uh -huh. ahead, sorry. Uh huh. Uh -huh. No, you, you were saying through your megaphone that uh, that this is not a territorial dispute, not where the border is drawn, but the nature of the of the uh, Arab and Muslim uh, rage against uh, Israel is is based on what? It's based on the, on, on, on the, the doctrine, the teaching of the Quran itself, uh, the hadith of Muhammad. Muhammad is life, it's uh, Islamic. The hatred, it's not uh, because of occupation. No one, Israel and Jewish people never occupied nobody's land. Historically approved. It's the Arab invasion. It's the Arab conquest, the jihad, the Futuhat Islamiyah, the opening, the conquest, what they did, and they took over the land, and the hatred toward the Jews, it will never finish because it's rooted in the Quran and in the teaching of Muhammad, the founder of Islam. They believe the end of the time will never come until the Muslim kill the Jews, until the last day, will, uh, until the rock will cry out, come O Muslim, there's a Jewish behind me, come kill him. And we have in Canada, Ikna Canada, the top imam of Canada and many imams in Canada preaching hate toward the Jews and saying, Oh Allah, slay them one by one. Oh Allah, purify the Aqsa Mosque from uh, uh, the filthy Jews. Oh Allah, help the Mujahideen, the Jihadists uh, uh, in Palestine and everywhere in the world. Openly calling for hate, openly inciting hate, openly encouraging the Muslims to keep continuing. What Muhammad started 1400 years ago. The conflict, it did not start 1948. It started with Islam. The problem, it's not Palestinian, it's uh -huh. Islam. As I am Palestinian, and I do, I, because I renounce Islam, I don't want to hate anymore. I'm against hatred. That's why I left Islam. I don't want to see Jewish getting killed. I don't want to see people chanting from the river to the sea. Palestine will be free. This is a genocide, and they're calling for a genocide. I don't want to see another Holocaust. I don't want to... Uh, see the Islamic Holocaust. I would call it Islamic Holocaust. If once the day the Israel will put the weapon down, I, I I guarantee you, no Jew will remain in Israel. They all gonna be killed, and the women gonna be raped, like what Muhammad did, the founder of Islam, when he genocide the Banu Quraida, the tribe in Medina. They killed all the men, and he took Safiya, one of his wives. She was a sick slave. After he killed her father and her brother and her husband the same night he raped her that's muhammad the founder of islam i know the root of the hatred it has nothing to do with the land it's basically very simple because muslims and islam do not believe in borders they want to build the caliphate there is no border they want to build the caliphate the islamic empire has uh -huh. no border uh-huh so would uh... that's the whole reason w would the muslim world tolerate a jewish state of any size and in, in that land Never. They will never. If you give them one one piece of the land, they want a bigger land. To them, it's the hatred rooted in the Quran and the Hadith. From the first chapter of the Quran, we have a Canadian Imam here. Approve it. Uh, his name is Omar Tabudir. Uh, approve it that the first chapter, uh, al maghdub alayhim, that the wrath of Allah on them, they are the Jews. And they are teaching the kids here now in the Canadian school for public school, they're teaching because they now, they bring the Friday prayer and the Muslim prayer to the school to teach the kids the hatred. I don't want to see Palestinian kids getting killed. I'm against the Palestinian mothers, if they really love their kids, why they are why they are sending their kids for jihad, right? Palestinian mother, they teach the kids to pick, to pick the knife and go ahead and stab the Jews. And uh, if they really want peace, 
they need to stop preaching jihad. They need to stop preaching hate uh, towards the Jewish people. If they really want the peace, they need to stop calling calling Jews uh, a filthy or big and monkey and all that thing that they learned it from the Quran. Uh huh. So would a Palestinian? They need to stop that. And they bring. I'm sorry. One thing. They they kill their kids and then when the Israeli army take an action, mm-hmm. okay, Hamas they are using the kids uh, as a human shield. What what pisses me off the most that people are deceived by Taqiya, deceived by the victim card that they are, they play the Palestinian because they send the kids for jihad, they send the kids to be killed for them. It's a martyr. He's gonna die for Allah. And then when the Israeli army took an action to defend their right of their land. What do you want them to do? If someone is shooting at them. What do you want them to do? If someone is heading and a muscle back against them. They have to respond. And then when they respond, they take the pictures of the kids and the martyrs and they take it, uh, bring it to Canada and you ask them saying, oh, see, Israel, what they are doing. So what did you start? They are the one who started the fight, not the Jews. The Jews never be a war people. They will never want to kill anybody. Israel is the number one and only a democratic country in the whole Middle East. Compare Israel to any country in the Middle East, you will find that everyone is equal and no one above the law. Well, that's true. So th- those who are uh, marching for a Palestinian state, if a, if such a state were created, would that solve the uh, the Arab-Israeli conflict? No. Uh, I'm sorry. It will never solve it. Unless they declare... Unless they stop the jihad, they're breaching the jihad and calling the Jews are big. How can you live with someone? You are looking them down and they are filthy. They don't deserve to live. Filthy. How? They, they consider them how filthy. Can we, how can they going to live with them believing that the end of the time will never come until they kill them? How? 